All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this ThinkPad X13 Gen 1. All right, we're gonna be using a GIS-1 screwdriver, and usually these types of models, the screws stay attached to the cover. Um, so just undo them until you feel it click. And usually when you feel it click, that means it reached the end of the, whatever the screw mount it's holding into, okay? So let's go ahead and undo all these screws. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and others can, sorry, so others can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, if you can't help out that way, it helps a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Anyways, I'm gonna get my fingernail in here. I'm gonna use my other one to kind of pull this down and just pull this up. And we should be able to pop this bottom cover off, assuming the screws came out all the way. Sometimes it helps to kind of undo the screw as you're kind of pulling up on it. But uh, this screw does seem to be out all the way, so yeah, just pull on it like that. And there we go. You might have to wiggle it a bit because there are clips. Also, there's this little hole here. Usually for um, Lenovo's, that's sometimes a one key recovery button, but usually it's like a battery reset that if you push and hold on that for about 15 seconds, it'll drain any residual power and make it, um, make it so if for some reason your computer's not turning on, that might actually reset it to get it working again. All right, anyways, I'm gonna clean this off just using a toothbrush and brushing the dust away. All right, and then blowing that off. All right, so now it's cleaner. This had some dust in it because the fan here. And we're just gonna clean this off as well. And for some reason, this customer's laptop um, randomly wasn't powering on. Like it was stuck on a black screen, nothing was happening. So we had to do like a battery power drain. Um, and there's a few ways you can do that. If you're lucky, if it's not too bad, you can press and hold the power button for about 30 to 60 seconds. Um, but if not, then you might have to remove the battery here, or you can try holding this power button or this little button here for 15 seconds. I'll hold that while I'm undoing the battery screws here. Okay, again, um, you, I didn't mention earlier, but you wanna keep the screws in order. The way I do that is I put them flat side, flat side down like that on my desk and the power and I remove them. So we kind of have like three going along up here and then we got one going down here. So I'm just gonna put them on my desk in that pattern. All right. All right. As you can see, there's a lot of dust in the fan. I brushed it here. I'm gonna to have to use my electric air blower to uh, blow that away. I'll take it outside and do that. All right, so we got those screws out. Now we should hopefully be able to lift this. There's this little part here that gets caught on it. So you'll have to lift this and then you can slide it out either that way or this way, okay? But it looks like we'll slide it to the left kind of. Oh, it's caught on something here. So we'll slide it to the left and up. And then now we have the battery out here. I didn't really get a thumbnail properly, I think. So let me actually line this up and get a proper thumbnail. Okay. Now we're gonna disconnect the battery here. Excuse me. All right, and the way I get to uh, removing the battery is I try and get underneath the connector here. I'm actually lifting the battery up. So I'm gonna get one finger under here and then one finger on top, and we're gonna just wiggle it side to side and that should walk the connector out as you can see, right? And just slowly keep doing that and there we go. If you replace the battery, make sure you put the battery connector right side up that you don't accidentally flip it upside down. So there's the battery, battery model number. There's a few models here, but um, L18M6PD1. There's also all these other like ASM part numbers and FRU part numbers. So if you need those, they're there. You can pause and read it. All right, you got the touchpad um, cable here. Let me actually zoom out. These have these little flip latches here to remove them. You can flip that. But uh, after disconnecting the battery, let's actually open up the laptop and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. This makes it a lot safer to work on and it only takes about 15 seconds, so yeah, just do it. All right, hold it for a few more seconds. Okay. And the top's also really dusty, so maybe I'll clean that out as well for them. Anyways, touchpad, trackpad, connector here. You can see some screws holding that in. I'm not gonna mess with that. Fingerprint reader is here which connects to the motherboard there. Um, you got the one speaker here running along with a wire to the other speaker, and then the speakers actually connect to the motherboard here. CMOS, BIOS, RTC, real-time clock batteries right here, and it plugs in right there. Um, here's kind of a close-up, but if you need a replacement, I do have um, an affiliate link with a company. 
Um, so if you want, they are giving, I forget how much, but they're giving some good discount. Uh, CR2016-T5 it looks like. All right. Okay, what else? CPU solder to the motherboard. Uh, if you undo this and remove the heatsink, you do need to redo the thermal paste. Fan connectors here has the same, you grab the wings and you kind of wiggle to pull it out. This connector goes, there's two connectors going into the screen, one here and one here. Um, this one's bigger, most likely the LC, uh, LCD LVDS connector. It has this metal latch, you would flip that up and then once you flip that, you can grab that and pull it back with on both sides. I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, you got the other one here, usually for the camera and microphones and things like that. All right, you got a USB port here, USB 3 port, and that's replaceable. This board's separate, connected to the motherboard there. Wireless card is soldered to the motherboard. I'm not sure why they did that, but they did. And the wireless antennas are here. To get them out, you go from the tail and you just pull that up. Don't try and pry it from the front of it. Okay, there's this little latch here, which is um, kind of like a case intrusion switch. It's kind of weird. They put this tape on it to hold it down. Um, it was just like that. I didn't add that tape there. But uh, yeah, anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to clean the dust off here, and then I'm going to put it back together. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention is this SSD. It's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, just like every other one. One screw holding it in. You can pull it up slightly and then pull it out. All right, and that's pretty much it. The RAM is soldered to the motherboard, I'm pretty sure, because it's so thin you can't really fit any removable chips under there. So, yeah, and then there's a removable board under here, which um, connects to this right here, and I'm pretty sure that's the power button. Yeah, it does say JPWR1 right next to that there. So anyways, let me clean this up, and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back, we dusted it out. Let's go ahead and zoom back out here. I'm a little bit curious how this keyboard is held in place because it does look like it's removable from the top. Most likely these need to be popped out, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Give me a second, I think I'm getting a call. I'll be back. All right, let's get this thing back together. Flip that back over, get the battery back in. Sorry about that. All right, so the battery, Basically, just do the same as before, but get the connector in first, all right? Line it up. Make sure when you push it that you get it uh, straight and push both sides at the same time. There we go. Just like that, I pinch it together. Then we just got to line the battery back up into place, okay? Just like this. All right, make sure that you do slide that in. So we're going to lift that and get that back under and then get that in. All right, and then we'll just get the ba uh, the battery screws back into place. So get these down. This one. This one. This one. And the last one here. All right, there we go, all the screws back in, and then we just gotta get the bottom cover on, and that's pretty simple. Just get the back here, put the bottom in first, line it up, okay, close that down, and then we'll tighten all these screws up. All right, so get that one down, click that in, get this one down, all right, click that one down, tighten that into place, this one down, and last one here, and get that one down. All right, and clean that up. Pull that out, and there we go. All right, then obviously you can just power it back up. If you did anything with the BIOS or CMOS battery, it might take a while to power cycle. But uh, yeah, just power it up and give it some time. But there we go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.